that and I left home in New York what was comfortable and I said you know what if I'm gonna pursue an art career I gotta do it like I have to move to Nantucket there's a beautiful art community out there it's super supportive and it wasn't until I moved that I actually really felt that as well and just felt so included by the community. I gravitate towards um, more cooler tones, cooler greens, cooler blues, um, and you'll see that in my paintings as well. Uh, and it's been really interesting over the years to figure out what colors really speak to you and how people recognize your work because of the colors you choose. When I moved to Nantucket, I actually painted with a group of women who helped free up my style quite a bit, and it was because of their energy, the landscape, seascapes, that I felt much more free, like my spirit felt free out here, and I really got in tune with that side of the oil painting aspect. And I think a combination of my training growing up, plus just the natural magic of this island, has helped create the perfect mixture for my watercolor design business, because it is a combination of loose, but also very meticulous drawing. Every collaboration or project I do, it's always fresh, it's always brand new, and that means a lot of time getting on location to take photos of what I'm painting, particularly the lighthouses out here, and any time I get to go and have a moment out there, it's really special. So it starts simple, just pencil to paper. Um, and I do, I, I love to start with a light sketch um, just so that clients can see the, re the true drawing background that I have as well. And then just layering light layers over and over and experimenting with different colors. People, you know, gravitate towards certain palettes as well. So I like to really stick towards what colors people enjoy and then it's like an onion, it's just layers and layers. <laughs> Over the past year, and I think because of the growth of social media and Instagram that people recognize you and it's become an even closer community because of that, that we get to share our lives um, you know, through these platforms and because of that, this community has grown in their support. Instagram has changed the whole game for artists and creatives. Having a platform like Instagram, or any platform for that matter, is giving artists a bigger voice. I can create my own gallery online on my Instagram. And for me, I like to show people a combination of what I'm inspired by on Nantucket, how that translates through my work and my personal life as well. Um, living in Sconset, taking photos that inspire the paintings. Um, so I, I would say Instagram has been my best marketing tool. One of the coolest aspects that I learned through a different collab when I was doing sketching and bike tours with a friend of mine through Nantucket Bike Tours, um, I took my students out with me and my friend Cole mentioned, he said to my students, he said, guys, do you, do you feel this incredible female presence out on Nantucket? And they said, yes, female entrepreneurial spirit. He said, it stems back to the whaling days when men left to go whaling and women were here, they were running Nantucket, and no one was telling them not to. So there's still this incredible fiery spirit about that and women in business on Nantucket. Mm -hmm.